Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, we have uh, uh, a, an extraordinary guest. Of course, will be a surprise, but a little bit. She's extremely beautiful. She, so she, first, extremely beautiful, extremely talented actress, writer, screenwriter, poetess. So now I had to. I met her recently. In uh, was a miracle for me. Was a gift uh, in Hollywood during the presentation of the amazing, fantastic film. That is, I wrote this for you. Uh, that uh, was written by Prennan uh, Kiel Cook, and uh, as a starring Melissa and him. And anyway, this guest is totally involved in the film. That now I will give to you. I will be presented in San Francisco soon. The film after Hollywood, and now is presented in. Uh, Madrid, the International Film Festival, and uh, so is a very already very successful film. So I will give to you the trailer, okay? So now the trailer. This is a tale of hearts. It's Gary, right? Yeah. Hunter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. I like to write. A writer who doesn't drink must be awful. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's gonna be all right. I'm not the only one that's concerned about you. You're gonna be okay. Hey, do you live alone? Yes, I do. Okay, let's hang out. I want to see your place. I thought she was the one. I like, really did. This isn't real. This is just a dream. Darius, I need you to do me a favor. I don't know why you're so afraid of the real world. Neither one of us is happy here, so give me one good reason. Why I should stay. I listened to all your old voicemails the other day. The last one I played twice. How long do I have to wait for this drink to cool down before I can sip again? <laughs> this is lovely. Because you're so oblivious. You're so in your head. I'm trying. Hunter, you should wake up now. But love still always ends with I'm done. So what do you do? Do good things. So, an applause <laughs> everywhere in the world. Thank you for you are in Middle East, uh, Africa, Asia, Australia, <laughs> Europe, USA, and America, so now I will give to you some so a pleasure, you know. So, and uh, you, of course, I, uh, you uh, can see her name over there, and, and, so, et voilà le jeu son Stefania Alessandra Pierucci with you. Hello. So, hello. <laughs> I will give uh, her directly to you so you can admire her. Are so beautiful. So, um, she has, uh, I don't want to judge anybody, but she has a special beauty. Oh, as also. Uh, Sophia Loren. <laughs> Sophia Loren is, of course, is I think the most special beauty in all cinema. She's course, very beautiful. I was friend of Marlene Dietrich. That is another amazing beauty. But uh, Sophia Loren is so special. Like uh, Egypt, the Egyptian art is the most special art for me. Is mm -hmm. my opinion in all the civilization. Is completely, of course, Roman art, Greek art, but Egyptian is, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, like Sofia Loren, like Alessandra, Stefania Alessandra Pierucci. So, uh, I like to, so I met uh, Stefania, uh, as I said, in Hollywood during the presentation 
of I wrote this for you that you saw the producer was uh, um, Stefania too yes. with Matt Stoner yes. and our friend Jason Savaletta that is also the director of the movie uh, mm -hmm. so I and Jason we make a film together Como sta cayo dottor Risal about uh, the hero of Philippines, uh, uh, Jose Rizal, so, so means he directs the film. Yes. And uh, so the film will be, uh, okay, so, but now I give the possibility to Stefania uh, to, uh, to speak about the film I wrote this uh, uh, for you. So. Well, um, I wrote this for you, was written by Brennan Kilcook, and he also stars in the film as Hunter. Um, Hunter is a broken-hearted writer who's struggling to uh, heal um, from a abrupt breakup. Uh, the love of his life leaves abruptly and leaves him shattered in a million pieces. And this film is riddled in poetry as he attends the slam house and tries to find comfort in other writings because he himself has uh, has writer's block and uh, it follows his process in learning not only that he is um, his ability to heal and that everything is going to be okay but also the importance of understanding that you're whole all by yourself so uh, this is uh, of course uh, a genius story mm. uh, concerning uh, love and creativity mm -hmm. that uh, are uh, obviously connected yes but but the humanity often didn't connect love with creativity this is a mushkela kebira, sorry in Arabic, uh, the big <laughs> problem, okay? So, and uh, so uh, this film is so important, so important, and of course uh, Stefania is writing uh, an interesting uh, script now that uh, we will speak later about that, and uh, the film will be presented in San Francisco. Yes. Uh, uh, Stefania, you are so kind to tell us uh, where, when uh, in San Francisco will be presented the film. Certainly. Uh, September 25th, uh, 2019, at 7 p.m. at the Clay Theatre in San Francisco. Perfect. So uh, you all, you can find, uh, I wrote this for you, uh, you can find in Evan Bright, I think. Uh, everything. Um, you can find the uh, tickets on brownpapertickets.com. Fantastic. Yes. You can repeat again? Brownpapertickets.com. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. So, um, um, so I mentioned uh, the amazing uh, global star legend Sofia Loren we called in it in it in Italian we called Sofia Loren and Loren yes. okay so <clears throat> I know that uh, you especially admire Sofia Loren mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I can reveal something uh, that you are writing uh, uh, something special about Sofia Loren yes. and uh, I am very happy about that because uh, through you, uh, you know, uh, sure to write about Sofia Loren will be some amazing uh, writing, amazing uh, point of view angle to see Sofia Loren. Um, so, about, uh, we sp speaking about the cinema, of course, from the beginning of this program. Yes. And uh, what is for you, uh, if you could accept this question, uh, which kind of message, what is the most important message that uh, cinema can give to the humanity? Well, I would say that especially now in uh, an extremely tech-forward society, a lot of people forget to pay attention to themselves and how, um, uh, how I say, to be inherently uh, human. 
um, with feelings and emotions and thoughts and expression. And I feel that cinema and film and, and just the arts in general um, need to maintain that part of what it means to be human. Um, I believe that it's important for artists to remind everyone that they are allowed to take a moment, that they are allowed to feel the certain way that they're feeling in that moment, that they're allowed freedom of expression. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So um, me, I completely, of course, obviously agree about that because uh, uh, technology means the communication by technology is great, but unfortunately it's so easy that we cut our human aspect, mm -hmm. means our human feeling, our creativity, and so technology, yes, mm -hmm. but also, please, art. Mm -hmm. If the human being forget art is not anymore human being. Exactly. Okay? Without art, we don't have anything. Anything. The technology, entertainment, music, uh, books, um, architecture, uh, homes. We wouldn't have homes without art. Absolutely. It's very important for everyone to remind themselves of, of how, how important <laughs> art actually is. Oh yes, in fact, uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we consider our house in, inside, outside, no? our habitat mm -hmm. have to be full of creativity, heart, light, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is one of the keys mm -hmm. of, uh, uh, of us to survive. Yes. Okay, because unfortunately we are in, in uh, the bad situation about the planet, about the environment, etc., etc. Yes. It's a serious, I cooperate with the United Nations about that, mm. etc., uh, because we try to, to push to save the planet. Yes. Uh, the money are important, but uh, the money can kill everybody, everything, okay? So it's not, uh, uh, have to be balanced the matter. Yes. Okay? So now, um, 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 Stefania uh, Alessandra Pierucci uh, is uh, writing a great uh, script called Celeste, yes. okay? So uh, what uh, could be the message of uh, Celeste? You are writing Celeste. No, you wrote Celeste, sorry. You wrote <laughs> Celeste. <laughs> I just uh, finished it recently. Uh, yeah. Yes, recently, <laughs> yes. So you know the message. Yes. Um, so Celeste centers around a 12-year-old young girl in the late 60s who's clairvoyant. And the, the message of the film is going to be for people to take a moment to be open-minded about the spiritual aspect of our of our realm of our world and to remind the audience that although certain things can necessarily be touched or seen they can still assist in helping to understand and that whatever that realm may be should be more accepted rather than feared or chastised or questioned Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you understand that the art contribution of uh, Stefania Alessandra Pierucci is extremely, extremely uh, important. Um, what is for uh, uh, Stefania uh, I have to speak about uh, her book of poetry that is called uh, Love Lost. Yes. What uh, uh, that I have over there uh, and what uh, uh, was exactly the inspiration to write a so amazing, beautiful book. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my pleasure. 
Um, there were two separate points, actually, that led me to create this book. The first was, uh, I have been a writer my entire life, and I had always expressed my thoughts and my feelings um, either with singing or with writing. And um, I had been writing poetry for a very long time, and I collected all of my poems and wanted to put them into one book. Um, I had started working on that project, and then I had a bad bout with a... uh, lover and uh, I was left extremely broken and started writing like crazy and I realized that a lot of the most poignant pieces that I had written were about that particular situation. So I nixed all of the other stuff and I put that together and now here we have this book. (laughs) Fantastic, fantastic. We spoke about love. You know, a few minutes ago, and I said the matter of creativity and love sometimes is not connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why it happens something horrible. Mm -hmm. Okay, horrible about the life of the people, the soul of the people that is called love. Okay, yes, so is the most penalized aspect of human being, I think, is love. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> we we can't tolerate this anymore. Fortunately but, and unfortunately uh, for us. Fortunately <laughs> and unfortunately, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, anyway, uh, really the humanity must love, must understand what means love, that uh, never we can understand uh, uh, what exactly is love, mm. but uh, as uh, we c- continue to learn our, uh, our life, during our life we continue to learn, so uh, never we can reach really the meaning of love of love but we have to continue to search to to uh, so love is an entity is separated this is my opinion mm-hmm. from the life is life is not love love is something else okay yes. love is uh, i use a bad word is contaminated by love <laughs> but love is a god of godness okay yes. so now i like, if you like, if you are not scandalized, <laughs> I like to read a short poem because we have, uh, okay, some minutes, okay, but mm-hmm. uh, of course it will be very short. <laughs> about, uh, so this is a book of uh, Stefania Alessandra that uh, I will show you later. So I put uh, Egyptian, uh, <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> Is uh, the title is uh, Tough Love. So, Tough Love, so I proceed to read Tough Love, and we are. Love me. I adore you. Leave me? (laughs) I understand you. Need me? I I help and guide you. Wrong me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So now I give. Uh, I hope it was not a shame. No, it was beautiful. <laughs> and uh, so I give to <clears throat> Stefania uh, the book, 
and uh, so here so yes. she kindly can read we have really few time yes so we have uh, one million and a half but uh, will be short and uh, um, so she can choose a poem to read ready yes fantastic this is entitled morning coffee <laughs> If you were my morning coffee, I would brew an endless pot of dark, rich, flavorful you. Each and every sip I would relish and indulge in, swished and rolled around on the tongue, each budding flavor fully experienced and enjoyed. Exhilarating rush of energy, my caffeine high, spark of creative light in you like morning coffee. Thank you so much. An applause remain a few seconds. And so I hope we cover many topics. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, I will love to have uh, uh, Stefania again here. Uh, so you in September, which is the date of the presentation of the film, September? September 25th. 25th. At 7 p.m. at the Clay Theater in San Francisco. Fantastic. <laughs> so, thank you so much for your attention. Stay tuned. You know that this program will be rebroadcast next Monday. Mm -hmm. And we love all of you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>